Okay, we're on Ksubis. <clears throat> it wasn't the class for a while, so this is new Gemara though. Ninety-two eight one second column. Ninety-two eight one. Ninety-two eight one a one. Um, oh wow! And the regular Gemara is Sadik Beis on Aleph. Two, four, six, eight, ten lines on the top of the page. Uh, okay, so Rami Bahama said the following. This is not hard, you just have to make this say concentrate. Ruven Shemalcha Sadal Shimon Bachrayas. Ruven sold the field to Shimon with a chrayas. What does a chrayas mean? That if somebody takes the field away from him, for a loan, he can go back to the original owner and get it. So what happened was like this. Zalkavala bin Milva. Shimon, Ruvain sold the field to Shimon for a thousand dollars. Shimon didn't have money. So Ruvain said, okay, keep the field. It's a loan. You owe me a thousand dollars. I'm lending you the money, basically. You owe me a thousand dollars. Umeis Ruvain, and now Ruvain died. Okay? So, Ruvain sells the field to Shimon. Shimon owes Ruvain $1,000. Got it? Then what happens? A creditor that Ruvain owed money to came because Tardivle is Shimon. He wanted to take the field away from Shimon. Okay? Meaning like this Ruvain sold the field to Shimon. No money. Shimon owes Ruvain now hundred dollars for the field. Jack came to Ruvain after he died, and he said the Ruvain owes me a thousand dollars. So he went to the field as collateral. What happened? Okay, and Shimon paid the debtor the money that he owed Ruvain for the field. You got it. It's a very simple case. Okay? Ruvain sold the field to Shimon. Shimon owes him a thousand dollars for the field. Ruvain dies. A creditor of Ruvain comes. He was owed a thousand dollars. He wanted to take away the fields from Shimon. What did Shimon do? He gave the creditor the thousand dollars that he owed for the field to Ruvain. So the din is like this. Do you know who the din is? Damla bin Ruvain. The Ruvain's children say like this: Anan mitaltelin shove kavuch kavuch. In other words, my father left movable items by you. It means like this: You owe us cash because Ruvain sold the field to Shimon with a mortgage, right? Mm -hmm. Now Shimon owes that money, which is tangible, movable. To Ruvain's kids now. Ruvain died, they inherit the debt. So he says, And Metautalin, I'll explain this whole thing in a second, is not, <coughs> it, it, movable, not mortgage to the father's debtors. Meaning like this if Ruvain died and left over $1,000 cash, the creditor would not be able to take the money. Only if there's land that was leaned collateral can the debtor, the creditor, take away the field. So the kids say like this, one minute. You owe our father money, a thousand dollars. You owe our father a thousand dollars to the field. Now, if we had that cash, the creditor wouldn't have been able to, able to take away it from us. Okay? So therefore, what are they saying? Shimon, so what, so what happens like this? The, 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 the fact is, Ruvain sold the field to Shimon. He owes him the money. Ruvain dies. The creditor comes and takes away, wants to take away the field from Shimon. Shimon pays him off cash. So now Ruvain's kids say, one minute, you still owe us a thousand dollars. 
Ah, you paid our father's debt? No, you didn't. Because what you owe us is cash. Cash cannot be collected by the creditor. That's the debt. Cash, movable items, cannot be collected by the creditor. That means you had no right to give him money because that's not bound to him. Therefore, you know what the thing is? Shimon has to pay the kids the thousand bucks again. Here. Yeah. That means Shimon's out double. He bought his field for a thousand dollars. The collector can still collect that field though. He's, because that's an encumbered field. From the estate. But he got paid already. Shimon I, paid I, it. I understand. Shimon paid off Ruvain's debt. <laughs> Basically. Because Ruvain's kids can say, listen, you, Shimon, owe us cash. Cash the creditor couldn't take away. Okay? You don't owe us a field. You owe us cash. The creditor cannot take away cash. So now you gave the creditor cash? That's your problem. You're an idiot. You still owe us the money for the field. Amir Okay, listen to this though. Amir Avon Avon said, the kids, Shimon, okay, if Shimon is smart, he can get out of paying money. How can he get out of paying money? So like this. Magbal and L.A. Ada. Okay, so he owes Ruben's kids thousand dollars for the field, the debt. He should give them the land that he still has as payment. And then he could recollect it. Why can he recollect it? Because Ruben, when he sold the land to Shimon, said, I'm selling it to you with Achrayis. What does Achrayis mean? That if the field gets taken away from you by a creditor, I promise you another field. That's what he said. I promise you another field. So what's going to happen here? <coughs> like this. Shimon should pay the... Okay, he owes the kids $1,000. Pay him the field. For the debt. You can pay it any way you want. They can pay you a lot. I'm paying you for the debt. Now you have a field. <coughs> Your father promised me that if the field gets taken away from a creditor, he's going to have to give me another one. So they're going to have to give him back the field. If he's smart, he can do that way. First thing Amari says, Shimon is out. Shimon has to pay not only the money he paid to the creditor, he has to now pay Ruben's kids the, the, the amount of the debt. So comes along Rava, and Rava says, one minute, if Shimon is smart, he doesn't have to lose money. He can pay up the debt to the kids with land, Okay, now my land is taken away from the creditor. You, you guys are the creditor. So therefore, I'm gonna take the field back. Why? The Gerevner Nachman says, "Amir Abba Rabba Baravu, Yisaimim Shogavu B'Chakarka B'Chayv Zaviim." If orphans collected land, payment of a debt that somebody owed the father, Balchayv the creditor can collect the land from them. Because now it's land. They own land, not cash. They own land. If they own land, the creditor can come and take it away. So this is what the Gemara says, part one. Okay? So the case is, Ruben told the field to Shimon. Shimon owes him loan on the... He carried the mortgage, basically. So he owes him money on the loan. Ruben died. Creditor came to Shimon to take away the field. Shimon gave him cash. He said, let me keep the field. Here's the cash he owes you. So the Dungmar says, Ruben's kids can say to Shimon, you still owe us the money. Rabba comes along and says, I'm sorry, Rabba. Rabba comes along and says, if he's smart, he could pay him back with the land and they'll go recollect the land from them. So he won't have to pay any more money. Okay, now the Dungmar says another case. Amir Rabba, Rabba said, Ruvain Shamachar calls the day of Shimon. Okay? Ruvain, as I see, had five lands, <coughs> five properties. 
he sold all five properties to Shimon at one time. He sold them all five properties. What happened? And now Shimon sold, the buyer sold one of the five properties to Levi. Now, Osibal Chayv, the guy that owes, Ruvain owes money to, he said, one minute, guys, I need money. There's no money here, say so take a land. Now, which land can he take? <coughs> the land sold to Levi, or only the four other lands that Shimon has? So Rabbi said, the din is, if he wants, he can collect Levi's field. If he wants, he can collect one of Shimon's fields. Either one he can collect. If he wants from this guy, he can collect. If he wants, he can collect from this guy. But, lo ya modern this din only applies to Zav the Bainanis when he bought average land, meaning like this. There's three types of land. Good quality land, medium quality land, and lousy quality land. Okay? Now, who collects from which land? Everybody wants a better piece of land. It's smaller, more fertile. You know, it's just a better piece of land. So they did it like this. People that you damage somebody, you do a mazik, they collect from the best fields. Debtors collect from the middle fields. Women collecting the ksuba gets in the junk yesterday. That's what the, the Mishnah says. Now, <coughs> Ruvain sold five fields to Shimon. Shimon sold one to Levi. Correct? Now, comes along Jack, who Ruvain owes money to. If he wants, he can go to Levi and take away his field. If he wants, to go to Shimon and take away one of the fields. So the Mari says, that's only... If Levi bought a Bainanis, an average field, because then the data can collect from it. But, if Levi bought good land or junky land, he didn't buy the average land, then the debtor cannot collect from Levi only from Shimon. Why? Because Levi could say to the debtor, <clears throat> That's exactly the reason I bought land that you cannot collect. The creditor can only collect from the middle fields, right? The average fields. So Levi said, why did I buy the best field or the junkiest fields? I bought them that you shouldn't be able to collect the field. So I specifically bought it that you shouldn't be able to collect it. So then you can't come and collect my field. Go to Shimon to collect fields. If he bought land that the creditor can collect from Bainanis, the middle fields, then the guy can go to Levi, the guy can go to Shimon, whoever he wants, he can collect. But if he bought Edius as he Buddhist, Mati Amalei Levi can say to the creditor, the reason I bought land that's not good for you, why? Because that you should not collect from me. But the Bainin is even if he bought average field. Loya Martin Yusoni applies Aladu Shafik Bainus Kavasi. He didn't leave uh, an average field. Why? Because Aval Shavik Bainin is the Kavase, but if Levi bought an average field, but there was another average field that Shimon had, then the guy can't go to Levi either. Why? Because Levi can say to him, I gave you a field to collect from without coming from me. In other words, like this. Shimon is the first collectible guy. Shimon sold to Levi, Levi is the second guy. If Shimon has fields, then, Levi, then the creditor can go to Levi. Only, Mar says, if Levi bought 
an average field, and there are no other fields, average, then the guy could collect from Levy or he can collect from the other guys. But if the guy either bought superior or rotten quality, he could say, you can't collect my field because the reason why I bought better or worse is that you shouldn't be able to collect from me. And then he says, even the middle fields, it only applies if they didn't leave over another field. But if you left over another field, then he could say, you know why I didn't buy both that field? Because I left you a place to be able to collect from you. You can't come and collect from me. That's what uh, Rabbi said. Okay, next. Amar Abayim. Second line from the top of Sadiq Beis Amid Beis. Amar Abayim says another case. All similar cases, by the way. Ruvain Shemacha Sada Le Shimon Bachrayis. Ruvain sold the field to Shimon. Again, Bachrayis means if the field ever gets taken away from Shimon, Ruvain promises him another field. But also, Bachrayiv the Ruvain, what happened? One of Ruvain didn't die, he's still alive. But one of Ruvain's creditors came and took away the field from Shimon. Okay? That's the case. Ruvain sold the field to Shimon. Ruvain owed money to somebody. The somebody came to Shimon and took away the field. But Shimon bought the field by Christ. Now, Dinahu, the din is the Azul Ruvain of Mefatsali. Ruvain can go and argue the case with the creditor that I don't owe you the money. And Leimati, the creditor, cannot tell Ruvain, I have nothing to do with you. I don't have to respond to your arguments. Because right now, I'm coming to collect the collateral. And the collateral is by Shimon, not by you. So I don't want to deal with you. So what happened? Ruvain sells a field to Shimon under the condition that if the field gets taken away from Shimon, he gets it back. He gets back another field. Now, the creditor comes takes away the field from Shimon, or wants to take it away. So Rovain can come and mix in and say, one minute, you can't take the field, I'll prove I don't owe you the money. <clears throat> but the creditor can say, who are you? I'm dealing now with Shimon, right? <laughs> Shimon has the field, I have to collect from him. I don't know who you are, Rovain. I have nothing to do with you anymore. Why can Rovain say that? Because he says like this, Mishim Domele Rovain can respond, the mefakta minei, Allah Hodder. Hey, he said, what do you mean I'm, I'm not uh, involved? If you take away the field from Shimon, I have to give him another one. Of course I'm involved. So I have a right to fight. You know, you can't say, who are you? Why are you mixing in? Because Ruben could say, what do you mean I'm mixing in? If you take away the field from Shimon, he's going to come back to me. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to prove to you that I don't owe you the money. And Shimon and the creditor cannot stop him. Okay? Ikadami, other people say another interesting case. What happens if he sold it without a chrayas? Meaning, Ruben sold the field to Shimon that even if the field gets taken away, you can't get it back. You don't get another one. Ruben could still fight with the creditor when he's taking away the field from Shimon. I, the guy can tell Ruben, why you, if I take away a field from him, he can't give you, you not. You don't have to give him anyway. <coughs> so why, who are you to argue? You can say like this. I don't want Shimon to be angry with me. I told Shimon a field, yes? Granted, no achrayas. That means if the field gets taken away, right, you can't come, I, I don't have to give him another field. Correct? But it's still he's going to be angry at me. I don't, want to, I don't want to be angry at me. And that's valid. Then Amar Bayabai says another case, bottom of the page. Ruven sold Shimon a field without responsibility, without a guarantee. The Yotzel is seeking and protest. Okay, so listen to what happened now. 
this case is a little different. Reuven told the field to Shimon. Noach Reis, meaning if the field gets taken away, Shimon's stuck. But people came now and say it's not Reuven's field. It's our field. How did Reuven sell you the field? No debtors over here. Reuven sold Shimon a field. The people come, the protesters come and say, what do you mean you sold Shimon a field? It's not your field to sell, it's ours. So he says like this, can Shimon back off the deal? <clears throat> There's nothing to do with the debtors. And all. It's a very simple case. Reuven sold the field to Shimon. Yeah, then people come along and scream. He's, he's, it's a stolen field. He has no right to sell it to you, it's field. So the Gemara says like this, I'll say it outside first. If Shimon made a chazak in the field, meaning he walked around and did something in the field, too late. He bought it, tough luck. I the field gets taken away, but he sold it to the Shleim that means I'm not responsible if the field gets taken away. But if he didn't acquire the field, so to speak, then the din is, Shimon can back out of the deal. Once he acquired the field legally with Chazaka, <coughs> let me I can explain exactly what he did. He says he can't change his mind. If he made a Chazaka, he cannot change his mind. If he didn't make a Chazaka, he could change his mind. Because he says he didn't pay for the field. Because the Gemara said, by the way, the case is Shimon didn't pay for the field yet. If Shimon paid for the field, then he acquired it and he can't back out anymore. He can't back out of the deal. Person isn't authorized to sell the field that doesn't belong to him. So if later they prove <coughs> that the field was not Ruvain. No, I'm saying if they prove the field's not Ruvain, Shimon will get back his money. He gets back his money. He <laughs> gets back his money. It's stolen goods like right. <laughs> But the Gemara says that he didn't make a Kenyan of Chazaka. So the Mephoshim say the same thing is he didn't pay for it. Because if he pay for land, you acquire with money. A thousand dollar piece of property, <coughs> if I give you a dollar, it's mine. It's mine. Tangible items, not. Tangible items you have to pick up. Schlep, drag, something. This, you give money, you acquire it. Or you do a chazaka. So that's what he says. He says, actually, Hichzigba, all the way top of the page. If he didn't make a Shimon, did not make a Chazaka, Yochel Achzibay, he could change his mind and not have to pay for the field. Misha Hichzigba, once he met, uh, made a Chazaka, and the man's going to explain what it means. Any Yochel Achzibay. Why? We should not have a consult him. Listen, Chaita di Kitri. You accepted a bag full of knots. <laughs> you know, you say like this. I, I come to you with a bag full of knots, meaning garbage inside. And I say, I'm selling you this bag as is. And you're stupid enough to pay for it. And then you open it up and you see there's knots. Tough luck. You, you accepted it blindly. So the same thing, if I sell you a field without the guarantee if I'll give you back, <clears throat> that means you're taking the field as is. There's a very interesting aloha. If you sell somebody a car and, and you tell the guy the car has no blemishes, okay, no uh, damage, and then the guy finds blemishes, damages, <coughs> the deal's off. If a guy says to somebody, I'm selling you the <laughs> car as the I'm selling you the car as is. I'm selling you the car as is. And you say, okay, here's the money. The, if you come at the, the car is totally not usable, tough luck. You bought it as is. I just want to see the car first. 
Huh? I'm supposed to see the car first. He has a right to see the boy. That means he didn't. He said, look, I'm buying, you the, I'm buying the car. He signed a contract as is. <coughs> he signed a contract as is. It says this. You're buying land without a chazak, without a chrayis. You're basically buying land as is. I, the people say now it's not his field. Tough luck. But obviously, I, I believe... One second. I wonder what happens if they talk a proof that it's not true veins. says he should but Rashi says, Taka, yeah, Rashi says, until, even with Achrayis, the Gemara says, he said, okay, there's people saying the field's not yours, <coughs> I bought it with Achrayis, give me back the field. The second opinion the Gemara says, second opinion the Gemara says, you know what? You still can't do it. Why? Reuben could say to him, listen, prove to me that I sold it illegally. And then I'll give you back a field. But until then, I say it's my field. When the court will, if, and the court will rule, it's not my field, I'll give you back the money. Obviously, he has to, because I, can, you know, I can't sell somebody your house. Legally. I mean, legally, that's <laughs> right. I can do it. You can't sell somebody that's something that's not yours. <coughs> But until it's proven, says to the guy, until you prove that it's not mine, even if you bought, even if you bought it with a chrayis, Reuven could say to him, listen, right now it's mine, that's it. Nobody can take it away from you. They'll take it away from you, you know what, they'll pay you the money. Then they'll pay you back the money. Obviously, if I sell something that's not yours, that's not mine, of course they're going to get it. If they can prove it, of course they're going to get the money back. <clears throat> There's no other way of doing it. <coughs> okay, let's see it inside. First thing Mars says, Umaimus Masigba, the fourth line. What is considered a chazaka that we say if Shimon made a chazaka, he cannot change his mind? It's Peggy Mikhidai Shemitsu and he walked along the borders of the field. As Rashi says like this, lands were separated by a thin strip of land higher than the fields themselves. In other words, there are two, this land, this land, there would be a heap, a narrow strip separating the lands. So what did they do? He says like this, if Shimon prepared such a strip by heaping earth at the edges of his field and walking along so to compact the earth around it, that's called acquiring the field. Rashi Tagod, the Mephoshim ask, any Kenyan, dig a hole in it, and put a fence up, whatever. Any improvement? Any chazaka whatsoever. Then the word, Ikadami, other people say, even if Reuven sold the field to Shimon. And now Shimon says to him, listen, I got problems with the field. People are saying it's not yours. Give me back the, the, the money. He said, no. The Amalei Reuven can tell him, listen. Show me the papers that say it's not mine. And I'll pay you. Show me that it's not mine. And then I'll pay you. Until then, I'm not paying you. 
because it's mine. Okay, let's start the next Mishnah. Okay, this case, <laughs> a guy married three women in one day. One, it has to be the same day. Yeah, of course, otherwise one's first. Okay, one ksuba was worth 100, second ksuba worth 200, third ksuba worth 300. Okay, three ksubas the same day. The guy dies, and there's only $100 to collect. What do you do? Huh? Who gets it? So the Mishnah says like this. A guy was married to three wives. And again, the ksuba is all the same day. Because otherwise one would have a lien earlier. Okay. Ksuvata shazumana, one ksuba is 100. Shazum asayim, one was 200. The shazu shleish meis. The ancham elamana. There's only $100 to pay all the ksubas. So what do you do? Cholk and Meshava. You divide it equally. Okay? Meaning, each one has a lien at least on $100. The $100 ksuba doesn't have a lien on 200 The 200 doesn't have a lien on 300 But on the first 100 right, everybody has a lien. So what do you do? There's $100 for three women. So even though one ksuba is 300 200 and 100 you don't say... This one gets three times the first guy in whatever. Each one gets 33 and a third. Plus, as well. 33 and a third. Hayusha Masayim. Now, the same case, three women. One soup is 100, 200, and 300. Yeah? Now there's $200 left over. Okay? Now, on the first hundred, all three are equal. The second hundred, the second two guys are equal. Correct? Now, Hayusham Masayim, so it says like this, Shalmana, and the going to ask why this is, because it shouldn't be like this. The, fir the first guy, first woman, is going to get 50. And the Gemara is going to ask why 50? She should have only get 33 and a third. Okay, but the Bible Mishnah says 50. Shall Messiah and Shal Shleish Meyers, Shleish and Shal Zav, they'll get 300, okay, three gold dinners, 75 zoos each. Meaning like this. It's a very, this is very simple. $100, all three are equal on. The second $100, the first guy's out, the second guy are equal. Right? That means the first guy, two guys, there's two hundred dollars, so there's hundred and fifty left. The first one takes fifty. <coughs> Why we don't know yet. The first woman gets fifty. So there's hundred and fifty left. So they split it seventy-five seventy-five. Okay? How you sham slash may ace? What happens if the guy left up with 300? Okay? Now the problem is, <clears throat> again, the same thing. The first hundred, all three have a lead. The second hundred, the second two have a lead. And the third hundred, only one guy has a lead. Okay, so what do they do? Shalmana Nitelis Chamishim, the one that only gets 50. Again, of course, why 50? It should be 33 and a third. Shalmasayim. <coughs> The second ksuba of 200 gets 100. The shal shleish meyes shishas, and he gets 150 zuz. Okay? So there's 300. One gets 50. One gets 100. And the other one, the third guy gets 150. But hey, the same thing applies. Um, not even by women, ksuba, that, whatever. Three people 
put money, deposited money in a fund. Okay? Now, if there's profit or loss, how do you divide the money? In other words, three people invested in a business. One invested 100, one invested 200, one invested 300. Now the profit is only 100. <coughs> so what do you do? So again, each one gets a third. The profit is 200, one gets 50, the other two get 75. If it's 300 profit, then again, one gets 50, one gets 100, and the other guy gets 150. Because, he, again, the Gemara is saying very logical. This guy has a lien on this amount, these two have a lien on this amount, and the third guy has a lien on that amount. So each one gets proportionally what they need to get. Okay, you know what, we're going to leave it here. All right. All right, Rabbi, feel better next week, huh? That's a shame. That's a shame.